Santa and I spent seven years of our lives uh, scuba diving all around the world. You're coming across statues underwater, you're coming across columns underwater. It's, it's, it's just magical, diving on an underwater city. For centuries, the lost city of Heracleion, or Thonis as it was known to the ancient Egyptians, was thought to be nothing more than a legend, hidden beneath the waves near the mouth of the Nile River, off the modern-day coast of Alexandria, Egypt. It was a city whispered about in a few rare inscriptions and ancient texts until its discovery in the early 2000s. You have to be careful when you look at underwater structures. You have to look at all the conditions that have led to their submergence. Underwater archaeologist Frank Godio and his team unveiled this submerged city, transforming it from myth to reality in a groundbreaking moment for archaeology. Heracleion was not just any city. It was a vital gateway to Egypt, a primary port for Greek trade before Alexandria took prominence. This bustling hub was alive with commerce, culture and religion, serving as a significant centre for the worship of the god Amun Gareb. The submergence of those sites is largely because of subsidence of land rather than sea level rise, because it's relatively recent. Among its most revered ceremonies was the annual Mysteries of Osiris, celebrating the resurrection of Osiris. Uh, but over here we have the god Osiris from Egypt, remembered by the ancient Egyptians as a bringer of the gifts of civilization, not only in Egypt, but in many other lands as well. The artifacts and inscriptions recovered from beneath the waters tell tales of this grand city. Located about six and a half kilometers off the coast, submerged under 30 to 45 feet of water, the ruins of Heracleion have yielded an astonishing array of artifacts. Giant statues towering over five meters high, beautifully carved and remarkably preserved in the silty seabed depict Egyptian gods and goddesses alongside pharaohs and Greek rulers, a testament to the cultural melting pot that was Heracleion. They came to Egypt and established religion by building primeval mounds up and down the Nile Valley. Alongside these, gold coins and bronze and stone weights unearthed from the site offer glimpses into the trade networks and economic systems that underpinned the city's prosperity. Adding to the intrigue, Archaeologists found dozens of small limestone sarcophagi, likely used for mummified animals brought as offerings, and the remains of over 64 ancient shipwrecks. These discoveries weave a narrative of a city where commerce and devotion to the gods were deeply entwined, a place of profound spiritual significance. Drawing parallels between Heracleion and the ancient city of Pompeii in Italy presents an interesting perspective on how natural disasters can both destroy and preserve. While Pompeii was buried in volcanic ash, Heracleion succumbed to rising waters and earthquakes. Yet both cities lay forgotten for centuries, their rediscoveries providing snapshots of ancient life. Pompeii offers a view of Roman life captured in ash, whereas Heracleion's story is told through artifacts preserved under the sea offering unique insights into ancient Egyptian civilization. The ongoing exploration of Heracleion challenges our understanding of ancient history, shedding light on the interconnectedness of ancient civilizations. The city's artifacts and structures, now emerging from the depths, serve as a potent reminder of the fleeting nature of human achievements and the intricate tapestry of human history. Now moving on to another discovery. The submerged ruins of Cleopatra's palace offer a fascinating window into the past. This palace, once a bustling centre of political and cultural activity, was home to Cleopatra VII, the last pharaoh of Egypt. Known for her intelligence, political acumen and captivating presence, the discovery of its ruins has thrilled historians and archaeologists, providing unprecedented insights into Cleopatra's era a time marked by immense political power, cultural achievements and architectural splendour. The underwater excavations at this site have been nothing short of a treasure trove, unearthing a wealth of artefacts that tell the story of life in ancient Alexandria. 
Among the hall are magnificent statues that might have once graced the palace and its surroundings, depicting Egyptian gods, Ptolemaic rulers, and possibly Cleopatra herself. These finds offer clues to the artistic and religious milieu of the period. The submerged structures, thought to include the palace's living quarters and ceremonial areas, and possibly even the fabled Pharos lighthouse, give us a glimpse into the architectural and urban planning styles of the time. Moreover, everyday items such as pottery, glassware, coins, and personal ornaments have been found, painting a vivid picture of both the domestic life within the palace and the bustling economic life of Alexandria. Cleopatra's Alexandria was a cosmopolitan beacon of trade, culture, and learning, hosting the Great Library and attracting scholars from across the ancient world. Cleopatra's reign represented the peak of Alexandria's development as a hub of Hellenistic culture, merging Egyptian traditions with those of Greece and Rome. The underwater discovery of the palace highlights Alexandria's significance in the ancient Mediterranean world. Drawing parallels with the sunken Roman city of Baiae in the Bay of Naples, both Cleopatra's palace and Baiae were epitomes of luxury and political clout of their times, reflecting the architectural tastes and wealth of their civilizations. While Baiae reveals much about Roman elite leisure and architectural innovation, the underwater ruins of Cleopatra's palace open a portal to the end of the Egyptian pharaoh's era and the attempts by the Ptolemaic dynasty to synthesize Egyptian and Hellenistic cultures. The exploration of Cleopatra's palace continues to enrich our understanding of ancient Alexandria's pivotal role in the Mediterranean. It also offers a deeper look into the life and times of one of history's most enigmatic figures, Cleopatra VII and the lavish lifestyle she led. The ruins serve as a poignant reminder of Alexandria's former glory and the fleeting nature of human achievements, standing as a testament to the transformative power of nature over history. Founded by Alexander the Great in 331 BC, the port of Alexandria quickly ascended to become one of the ancient world's most crucial trade hubs, buzzing with the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures. Its prime location on the Mediterranean coast of Egypt established it as a pivotal connector of trade routes from Europe, Asia and Africa, transforming it into a melting pot of global significance. The strategic and economic importance of the port was unparalleled, primarily serving as the vital conduit for Egypt's grain shipments to Rome, which was essential for the empire's stability. Among the marvels that made Alexandria famous was the Pharos Lighthouse, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Positioned on the island of Pharos, this engineering masterpiece not only guided ships safely into the harbour with its formidable light, but also symbolised the city's affluence and ingenuity. Although not directly linked to the port, the Great Library of Alexandria was another testament to the city's intellectual and cultural richness, drawing scholars and thinkers from across the globe. The royal quarters and palaces of Alexandria, including the Museum, home to the famed library, reflected the city's role as a beacon of Hellenistic culture and power. Meanwhile, underwater archaeology in the port area has unveiled a trove of artefacts, from ancient shipwrecks to everyday items, shedding light on the maritime practices of the time and the diversity of goods that flowed through Alexandria. The port was a linchpin in the ancient economy, bustling with the trade of grain, papyrus, glass and precious metals, among other commodities. Its docks and warehouses were a hive of activity, indicative of a well-organised network that made Alexandria a cultural and economic bridge between various civilizations. The discovery of diverse ship remains and goods in Alexandria highlights its wider reach in the ancient trade world. The legacy of the port of Alexandria is monumental, influencing maritime trade, architecture and culture well beyond its heyday. Ongoing archaeological work in the port area continues to enrich our understanding of the interactions, economies and daily life of ancient civilizations. Its history serves as a powerful reminder of humanity's interconnectedness through time.